Hi guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Donna at Face Paints For You and I've had a request to show you how to do a mermaid design. So if you'd like to see how I do this mermaid, please keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. I start off by loading my Low Cornell Round Brush number no. 6 with a light skin colour from Diamond FX and for the head all I do is a circle and fill it in then all I do is go to the bottom middle of the circle and I just push down on my brush for the neck then I start off by doing a bit of an hourglass shape but stop about halfway then I go to the top of the hourglass and I pull out a vertical teardrop then another one going into the waist and then I do exactly the same on the opposite side and as you can see I do pull the waist down a slightly bit more as I thought it was quite short then I grab my short angled brush from the face painting shop and I load it up with a tink FX one stroke from the fusion Leanne's butterfly palette and I start off by doing two very small petal shapes both joining up to be like a V shape at the bottom of the waist and then next to that I pull down a line slightly curving it out and do again exactly the same on the opposite side but join the two ends together and then fill in the center with the light side of your brush then to finish off the mermaid's tail all I do is half of a leaf on one side and half of a leaf on the opposite side then I grab my filbert brush from the face painting shop and I load it up with the neon magenta and pink from the fusion Leanne's butterfly palette again and all I do is push down on one side and then turn it around and push down again and it does like a little circle and of course I do this on both sides. Then I grab my Low Cornell Round Brush number no. 5 and I load it up with the same neon magenta from the Fusion palette again. And very quickly I just wanted to say, I feel as if a lot of people struggle with hair initially and this is the reason why I've done this kind of hairstyle and this is the reason why I've done it in these kind of sections. At first I start off by doing the fringe then I do the top of the head and then I do the hair flowing down and then then fill it in then after filling it in I'm not sure if you can see it on the video but I do go back in with the neon pink and I just go over the parts where the sun or the light would hit so I go over the outline of the fringe the top of the head and uh, the left hand side of the hair that flows down Even though at this point you might not be able to see the actual hairstyle properly, but after you're outlining with the black and you put some white highlights in, you will see how beautiful it looks. Plain but beautiful and easy to do of course, so that's perfect, especially for beginners. But of course, if you find it easier to do a different type of hairstyle or you have your already your own hairstyle, do you know you can always add that hairstyle on here instead of doing this one. But of course, if you do have difficulties, I do think by doing it this way, it's fast, it's easy and it's simple and I think very effective. And by the way, really quickly, I do wish now I did the bikini in a purple colour or maybe a blue colour um, as I don't really like that the bikini and the hair are the same colours. Now after doing the hair my brush was really dry and all I did is two rosy cheeks and I'm sorry that the camera didn't pick it up but I had low battery so the camera stopped filming so I'm glad I heard it go off so I could put it back on again straight after this. Then as you can see I grabbed my low Cornell round brush number three and load it up with my black diamond effects and all I do is start outlining the whole of the design. Mm -hmm. 
and to keep the design quite delicate, don't forget to outline on the tip of your brush. Then here, as you can see, all I do is two dots for the eyes, keeping it nice and simple. And then I give her a nice smile and a little U-shape for the nose. Now here, as you can see, I do a few little patches of small scales and the reason why I do this instead of doing scales all on the tail is because it'll be too much black and again it wouldn't look as delicate. Now here, you see me grab my low Cornell round brush number four and I load it up with some white and blue mixed together and all I do is a small little flower in the hair I just think it looks so cute and then I swirl my brush back out and load it up with the dark blue and just put a dot in the middle then with my low corner round brush number four loaded up with white diamond effects all I do is give her some earrings and very simple doing three dots from larger to smaller going down then with the same brush, I give her a few highlights around the design. Then here, as you can see, to give her that little sparkle in the eyes, all I do is with the same brush is give her two small dots inside the eyes. Then I go to the flower and do a few little dots inside the center of the flower. And then I continue to highlight the rest of the design. But of course, not forgetting that if you have a cue and you haven't got time, don't be going too much into detail. Don't be doing too many highlights. The design still will look beautiful, but of course if you do have a bit of extra time, these details sometimes just makes it pop a little bit more. Now all you will see me do is just do a few starbursts here and there and so a few dots, you know, just to finish off the design. And as you can see, I go back in and do two dots in the centre of the bikini top, as I completely forgot to do it earlier on. And this is my beautiful mermaid. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. And if you have, please don't forget to let me know with a big thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. See you in my next video. Bye guys.